Casket are the mortal remains of Reverend Sister Susan Korgesen Mechang, a sister of St. Therese of the Child Jesus of Boya, who succumbed to the cold hands of death on Tuesday, the 3rd of October 2023, at the Douala L'Hôpital General after a protracted illness. Born on the 18th of September 1984, she hails from Bazeng village in Kope Mwaninguba Division of the Southwest Region of Cameroon. Sister Susan joined the Sisters of St. Therese of the Child Jesus of Boya in the year 2011. She was temporarily professed on the 4th of December 2014. She made her perpetual profession on the 27th of August 2021 into the hands of Sister Agnes Njume, Superior General of the Sisters of St. Therese of the Child Jesus of Boya. From her temporary profession, Sister Susan served in the following communities and different apostolates as Bursa of St. John College, Kumba Town, in the Diocese of Kumba, as pastoral worker at the St. Therese Cathedral, Kumbo, in the Diocese of Kumbo. Then she proceeded to the Catholic University Institute of Boya in the Diocese of Boya where she obtained a B.Sc. in management. Upon her graduation, she was appointed cashier at the Fiango Integrated Health Center Kumba in the Diocese of Kumba. Until her death, she was assigned to the Douala Nyasa community for the prison apostolate in New Bell Prison, an assignment she even barely took up because of her ill health that had made her deteriorate into a bad shape as she was hospitalized from one hospital to another. A smiling soul, a nun full of humor, just perpetually professed two years ago and now called to join the celestial chorus. The mortal remains of Sister Susan were transported from Boya early Wednesday morning, the 11th of October 2023, and received by the sisters of her congregation and conveyed to their mother house and novitiate where her journey to the religious life all began. With sorrowful faces, yet with believing hearts, the sisters performed rituals of sisterhood by communing in prayer for the last time in that same chapel where Sister Susan made her first profession. Then, Sister Susan began her journey to the world of no return when her mortal remains were taken from the mother house to St. John the Evangelist Parish Church, Kumba Town, for her funeral mass, final commendation, and burial. The Holy Mass started at 10 a.m., presided at by his Lordship, Bishop Michael Bibi, Bishop of the Diocese of Boya. Also at that Holy Mass was Bishop Agapitus Mfon, Bishop of the Diocese of Kumba, and Bishop Emmanuel Balanjo Bushu, Bishop Emeritus of the Diocese of Boya, with 43 priests in concelebration in the presence of many religious men and women from different congregations and institutes of apostolic and consecrated life and Christ's lay faithful. In his homily, Bishop Michael Bibi exhorted all present to prepare for their death, especially as Sister Susan died after living for 39 years here on earth. 
a lifespan that could raise many questions as to why she died this young, just 39 years of age. He remarked that even in her pain of sickness, Sister Susan kept trusting in God, a truly happy soul, and the many wreaths that were brought is a symbol of the many lives that she had touched. Christians, the bishop said, must be eager to meet God at that banquet, on that mountain of joy as pictured by the prophet Isaiah. Death for Christians is not an end, but an entry into the eternal banquet. Citing the Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraphs 991 and 993, the bishop encouraged all the mourners to have faith in the resurrection, which is faith in God, who is a God of the living and not of the dead. Therefore, Christians must see and look at death in a positive way. Thank you. 
Bishop Agapitus Unfon carried out the rites of final commendation and burial. And Sister Susan Kogesen Mechan was buried where the sisters of St. Therese are buried. mercy those who have lived in faith find eternal rest bless this great she has been laid to rest oh what is man from the earth we were made and to the earth we return upon death may god bless you sister susan thank you for the time we shared here on earth and as you journey we continue to pray and may the good lord whom you served welcome you into his eternal kingdom eternal rest grant unto her O lord and let perpetual light shine upon her. And may the souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Reporting for Radio Evangelium Kumba, I am Father Blessed Amba Mujumeni.